G'day, I'm Chris, a Kiwi Bee Man. Today is a really exciting day. Look at my face, that's my excited look. The reason I'm excited is that I've got a big announcement. I have developed the most amazing labour saving tool for beekeepers. This is going to revolutionise beekeeping throughout the world. I have to admit, the fact that I'm announcing this today is because I've really had my hand forced. I've made a few editing blips, which means that the secret that I've been keeping from you and from everyone else has inadvertently become at risk of slipping out. However, I've just successfully got the intellectual property protection sorted out and I can now talk about this publicly without a risk of anybody stealing what it is that I've developed. So today I'm going to reveal two secrets. The first secret is that under the floor of my shed I have built a secret bunker. Now it's not like Colin Furr's secret bunker. Firstly it's actually secret. Millions of people know about his bunker and secondly what I do down there is quite different from what Colin chooses to do in his concrete bunker. My underground bunker under my shed is a highly technical laboratory set up for scientific research. What sort of research have I been doing? I'm sure you've all heard of nanotechnology and I'm sure you've all heard of genetic modification. What I've done, and this may be a world first, is I've combined nanotechnology with genetic modification to create a new tool for beekeepers. Now I've made dozens and dozens of these tools. They live in my apiary. In order to make this revelation today, I went out and I caught the one that I made first. Now she is underneath this container. I say she, you understand in a minute why, I'm, why I say she. And I'm about to reveal her to you. So without further ado, here she is. Now her name is April and she's the first of what I'm calling nano beaks. Nano beaks have been programmed to look after beehives and the land around them. If you've been watching closely, you will have seen some nano beaks in the background in some of my earlier videos. I didn't deliberately put them there. It was just sloppy editing on my part because they're running around my garden doing things all the time and sometimes because I'm so used to them I just forget that I've seen them. So what do nano beaks do? Oh, now you're just showing off. Stop it. Right. They look after the land around the beehives and they go right into the beehives and clean frames look after the bees, make sure the queen is fine. A whole lot of stuff that they can only do because they are carrying genetic material from bees. I've genetically modified bee genetics with another undisclosed donor. Obviously I don't want to reveal all my secrets of how it is that I've gone about creating the nano beaks, but that's not all they do. This is the best bit. This is a honey box that's been sitting on top of one of my hives. Have a look at what's inside. These nanobeaks don't just maintain the hive. They extract honey from the frames with buckets, pour it into jars that I've put in there for them, and then cap it off when it's finished. They work tirelessly, 24 hours a day. But a word of warning, they can be a bit feisty. Now I'm gonna keep the lid on because I don't want these ones, they're not as tame as April. I need to keep them in there. Remember, they've got bee genetics in them, and a bee will sting you in the right circumstances. These wee girls don't have a sting, but they do have a bite. It can be quite a serious bite too. Nothing a few stitches won't fix, but it does pay to keep your distance a little bit and be very careful when you're handling it. I can't sell this honey yet in this form because it hasn't been approved by MPI, but that's coming. Paperwork's in process. So we'll just take this out of the way. So as I said, 
This is an earth-shattering development in the beekeeping world. If you want to find out more about it, like and subscribe. And then just a final footnote required by my lawyer. I need to note that this video was made and published on April the 1st, 2024. I need to say that for copyright reasons. Thanks for watching.